Hello everyone, welcome to another video of mine. I know it's been such a long time since I was consistent on this channel. The days when I was consistent with the uploads, but we are back. We are back with a bang. Chelsea are a diabolical shambles and there have been huge developments, huge news surrounding the managerial situation, surrounding potential transfers this summer. What's going to happen to Maurizio Pochettino? The hangover from the cup final. What's going to happen to our FA Cup hopes? Chelsea languishing in mid-table, 10th, 11th, 12th. We're going to be delving into all of that in this video. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, get me back out there in the algorithm, leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And let's get straight into business, starting off with the main news, the main surrounding topics, and that is the managerial situation. What is going to happen to Maurizio Pochettino? The news surrounding Chelsea. Clear Lake Capital, Todd Bowley, Egwali. What are they going to do with Maurizio Pochettino at the end of the season? Now, Tier 1 reporters, Ben Jacobs, Matt Law, The Athletic, David Ornstein, they've all come out today, early hours of this morning, coming out today, suggesting that Chelsea do not want to part ways with Maurizio Pochettino and in an ideal world, they would like to go long-term with Mauricio Pochettino. Now, I do want to make one thing clear. I will, first of all, deliver the news to you, and then I'll give you my thoughts and opinions afterwards. And, of course, we can then I'll then divulge more information. We can have a back and forth in the comments section. Now, Mauricio Pochettino. The Chelsea hierarchy does not want to part ways with Mauricio Pochettino. And in an ideal world, they would like to keep him here for the long term. However, performances and results must pick up. What does this mean? They would like... A strong end to the season in terms of their Premier League campaign and ideally they would like to win an FA Cup and that would then secure him for another season as Chelsea manager and hopefully they would look for progression and hopefully the results will start improving and the huge outlay the investments that they put into the players that they've signed i.e the younger players that are on seven eight year eight nine year contracts Mikhailo Mudrik Noni Madueke, Cole Palmer, Nicholas Jackson, this RC, Badia Shile, Petrovic. I can go on in terms of list of names that they will start to pay dividends as the seasons go on due to their age, due to their transfer value and the contracts that they're tied in and of course Premier League experience. Now, however, of course, as you know, in football, things never go to plan, especially in Chelsea, where it is a poison chalice, so to speak, which is the, the Chelsea dugout at Stamford Bridge. You see many managers come and go in terms of one of my favourites, Thomas Tuchel, who will be leaving Bayern Munich at the end of the season. Now, what does this mean? This means that there are now managerial positions available. Xabi Alonso looks like he might be on the move from Bay Leverkusen, although I don't personally see myself, Chelsea, I don't see myself in an ideal, well, not in an ideal world, but in a realistic world of Chelsea appointing Xabi Alonso when you've got Liverpool and Bayern Munich after his signature when they are in much more superior positions to Chelsea as it stands. And then you've got Thomas Tuchel. Again, I don't think Todd Bowley and Egg Barley will swallow their pride. I'm not sure that, uh, that relationship will ever rekindle as that bridge is pretty much burnt. So I don't see Thomas Tuchel returning, not at least for another three, four years. And of course, the dust continues to settle. So what does that mean for Chelsea's position? If there is a vacancy, who would we go for? Now, the rumour is, the news is from Fabrizio Romano, that Ruben Amarim will be available this summer. And of course, I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on Ruben Amarim later on. I might even do a tactical insight video on Ruben Amarim later for you guys to watch. So I'll be doing extensive analysis on him at his time at Sporting CP. Now, Ruben Amarim is a champion. He won the league title of Sporting a year or so ago, a couple of years ago. They, last year they finished in the top four, but the year before that they won the sporting the uh, Portuguese league title. Now, Ruben Amarim is an option. However, we are not his only suitors. Again, once again, Bayern Munich. Liverpool are also going to be after his signature. So again, it's a huge race, especially with Chelsea's current position in the Premier League and current position in the last couple of years. We haven't maintained our, st our status as an elite club. And we're not going to be as attractive as before, especially which what it looks like is no European football for next season. Now, who's also available? The other available option is Roberto Di Zerbi. Once again, at the end, I'm going to give you guys my preferred option if Pochettino is to leave and my thoughts and opinions on Pochettino this season. The other option is Roberto Di Zerbi from Brighton. Now, people are going to laugh and say, classic Chelsea. Classic Chelsea, you want to steal Sam Jewell, you want to steal uh, Paul Ben Stanley, your, your director of football, you want to steal their database and Brighton's hierarchy, you hired Graham Potter, you signed Caicedo, you signed Mark Cucurella. 
you just want to replicate Brighton's model. You might as well become Chelsea Hove Albion at this point because of the way that we're moving and the way that we're operating. We're not operating as a top club, as many Chelsea fans will claim to say. Now, my opinion is not as conventional as a fan base. A lot of the fan base don't actually like our hierarchy. A lot of our fan base want Roman Abramovich back. A lot of our fan base don't like uh, what's going on at Chelsea and don't actually envision a bright future at Chelsea. Whereas I actually tend to disagree. I, I do. I am a little bit unorthodox in that sense. I'm not explain why. I'll give you my reasonings a bit later on. Now, Roberto De Zerbi is certainly an option. He has a £12 million release clause, according to David Ornstein and the rest of the Tier 1 reporters. Now, what does this mean? Is that a possibility for Chelsea? Absolutely. Bayern Munich, according to Max um, Max Earls, I believe he's a Sky Germany reporter, again, something along, so, along those lines, they stated that after Xabi Alonso, Roberto De Zerbi is their second preferred choice. So, again, we're not going to be the only club after his signature. However, I do think that we can be very luring and a good proposition to Roberto De Zerbi. Of course, putting the finances aside in terms of the wages that we can compete and offer to, but the fact that he's worked with Caicedo, Colwell and Mikhailo Modric at Shakhtar the next, and the fact that, of course, you've got London and Chelsea being this, this glamorous club and bringing Chelsea back to glory days. Will he succeed at Chelsea? As stated, it's a poison chalice at the moment, so, you know, we don't know. However, in terms of the identity, in terms of what he can implement, in terms of style of play, how we can get the best out of our play, the tactical nous that he has, I certainly think, I personally think, out of all the managerial choices we do have and what we have available to us, you, I mean, my dream choice, personally, if you ask me, is Arne Schlott from PSV. And again, I'll go into a separate video on that. This is more of a news video. For me, personally, it's Roberto De Zerbi, in terms of what's what we have been linked to. We haven't really been linked to Arne Schlott, but out of your Ruben Amarim, your Xabi Alonso's, your Roberto De Zerbi's, my preferred choice is Roberto De Zerbi. And what I said a couple of minutes ago about being unorthodox in comparison to the Chelsea, you know, the, the, the consensus of the Chelsea fan base, they don't want to touch Roberto De Zerbi because they think that we are trying to replicate and copy Brighton and it's going to be another Graham Potter situation. And look, I, I can't predict the future. I could absolutely be wrong about this. However, I do think that Roberto De Zerbi will succeed at Chelsea because he has the tools, he will have the squad at his disposal. I think what he did last season with Brighton was a terrific, phenomenal job. People look at his, his current time at Brighton right now and say it's not really a success, but people, that's devoid of context. He has European football. His squad is thinner than last season. It's been absolutely decimated through bigger clubs like Chelsea, nitpicking their best players. On top of that, they've had a humongous injury list. So again, there is mitigating, mitigating circumstances and people are always using it with the void of context. Roberto De Zerbi, for me, will be a success at Chelsea. Why? Because he will have the resources, he will have the tools, he will have the backing. I think, personally, if Maurizio Pochettino was under the Roman Abramovich regime, he would have been sacked a very long time ago. So this notion that we won't give De Zerbi time and resources is absolutely preposterous because we absolutely will. We've given Pochettino more than enough time. We gave Potter a lot of time. The fan base want Poch gone. I want Poch gone. I don't think Pochettino is good enough for Chelsea in terms of what he's displayed, in terms of tactically, squad selection, team selection, his in-game substitutions, I think have all have been atrocious. And I think he's made so many mistakes. I put him majority blame as to why we didn't win the cup final. I put a majority blame in terms of why we haven't won so many games a season and why we are currently 10th, 11th. Our squad isn't as bad as what a lot of Chelsea fans claim that it is. I think this Chelsea squad has insane potential. And I love a lot of our squad. The fact that what we've identified, what we've scouted in terms of technical ability, we have to give it time. And I think that Roberto De Zerbi will have the resources. He will have the time to implement his style of play, put his identity forward. He's worked with some of these players in this group currently. And I think, of course, having that Premier League experience as well, I think he will thrive. And I think this Chelsea project, I know a lot of fans will disagree and you may call me crazy, I think it will bang. And I will actually disclose why I think that more in depth and delve into it in a separate video. But let me know what you think. Leave me your thoughts, opinions in the comment section below. We've been linked with Ruben Amarin. We've been linked with Roberto De Zerbi, as I've explained. We've been linked with other managers. Nagelsmann has popped up as well. But which manager would you like to see if Maurizio Pochettino is sacked? Personally, for me, it would be Roberto De Zerbi. What do you guys think? Leave me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And I'll see all of you guys for my next video. Peace.